Finasteride and Dutasteride are really the only two medications at our disposal that allow us to combat hair loss. How does it work? It prevents the buildup of DHT, dihydrotestosterone, that causes miniaturization of hair fog. And it's very effective. It's safe for both men and women to take these medications. And even premenopausal women can take Finasteride or Dutasteride. The only thing I have to caution women against is if you're planning a pregnancy, I would recommend stopping six months before. Wow, so the doctor is definitely right. Finasteride and Dutasteride are the strongest and most effective drugs for treating androgenetic alopecia, that's a fact. It's definitely aggressive to be prescribing either to women. Finasteride, for example, is only FDA approved for treating hair loss in men. Both finasteride and dutasteride or are approved for treating enlarged prostates, again, in men. So there's much more safety data in men than women. It's much less proven and tested in women, particularly on the safety side. And I'd love to see the doctor's regrowth data in terms of hair counts per square centimeter. I'm sure it is actually quite effective. That said, he does neglect to mention there is a host of potential nasty side effects. There is a thing, for example, called post-finasteride syndrome. Because the side effects of finasteride are so famous in men, it can involve neurological changes like anxiety and depression. It can also include erectile dysfunction and even potential infertility. The same neurological side effects can occur in women. 